-hmm. Well, we're here this morning for some coffee and peonies. My grandma's peonies are blooming in the garden and we just got home from a doctor's appointment for my daughter. It was her one-year appointment and I'm gonna start a still life of these peonies today. And we leave for a family trip to Mackinac Island on Thursday. It's Monday today. So that means I have to get this painting started and finish it most likely on Wednesday. There's thunderstorms coming and the clouds are rolling in. So I don't wanna take too much time right now talking. I wanna get this canvas started. So let's set the easel up and let's get going on the still life of my grandma's peonies. Oh, my back's a bad At this point we're kind of cooked on color uh, the clouds have rolled in and I might get a little bit of a chance to mix some more but I mixed a lot on my palette and this is how far I got while it was sunny I'm gonna be able to create the whole initial statement today and then on Wednesday it's supposed to be full Sun and that's when I'll come back and finish this so let's keep working I pushed forward while the Sun was out you know my intuition told me what to mix and I worked with a lot of ambition and I worked quickly and we're just gonna keep moving until the whole canvas is covered whether we have the sun or not. Look at this, my dog is walking through the peonies right now. I'm dealing with weather, I'm dealing with clouds, I'm dealing with wind, I'm dealing with changing lighting effects. And now I'm dealing with my dog walking through my still life. All right, this is how far I got. I'm starting to hear some thunder. The thunder is starting to rumble in the sky, so it's time to clean everything up. So much pollen blowing around. Porter, there's a chicken on the steps going up to the house. We thought maybe that chicken got away from us last night, but I think he spent the night down in the milk house. The dog laid right in the flowers behind my still life, right in my grandma's peonies. But one thing that I talked about with my students at my class last week was that you have to expect that these kind of things are going to happen. You have to expect that the clouds are going to roll in and disrupt your light. You have to expect that the wind is going to blow the umbrella off of your easel. You have to expect, in this case, that the dog is going to come and lay in your still life. If you have a cat at your house, you know that anytime you set up to paint, a cat is going to come and tiptoe. Well, the camera cut off right as I was saying that anytime you set up to do a painting, if you have a cat, the cat is going to come and tiptoe through the palette or try and sit on your lap if you're seated. And those are the things that we have to expect as painters. I came in the chicken coop and I did some skateboarding. We just had Violet's party out here, her one year party in the chicken coop. And I took a little bit of time and I reset up my skateboard ramps but there's a combination of of babies toys and the leftovers from the party scattered about the chicken coop and i'm gonna spend this afternoon cleaning all of that up somebody even got her a ferrari for her birthday as you can see outside i beat the rain this morning and i was happy to get outside and do a little painting before the rain came like i said we've got a lot going on this week we're going to be headed up to mackinaw island and so we've got to get everything together for our big trip up north and my sister and my niece and my mother are going to be traveling with corbin i and our baby so we'll finish up that still life on another day thanks so much for being here for the first session it's kind of been a wild morning so far oh my gosh they're outside in the rain. I'm gonna go see what's up. A fresh start on a new day can make all the difference. Look at all this pollen in the air. I've got my canvas set up for the second day of painting. There's the still life, and I'm eager to get going this morning. I think I have another beautiful, kind of hazy light day, and this is gonna be perfect to work under. There's no thunderstorms coming in today. Other than this pollen, everything is perfect conditions. So let's get started. Times I've played around, I tell you 
every place I go, I'll think of you. Every song I sing, I'll sing for you. When I come back, I'll bring your wedding ring. So kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you're. So here we've got the little root beer bottle, and we've got the white pitcher. I think that this chrome tea kettle is going to make its way into some more paintings over the summer. Got a couple apples and of course my grandma's peonies. And those peonies are a little bit different today so I, I was kind of making the peonies up as I went. It worked out well enough. Well I'm making my final marks on this painting, I'll sign it here. So the painting is finished up, and my family is walking down the line to come see us. Can you give me a final critique on this painting? You know, Violet turned one on Saturday, and this is the first painting that I'm finishing. Since she's got a cherry in her hand, maybe she wanted the cherry in the painting. I'm gonna leave the painting where it is. I'm happy that I got it finished today because we're gonna be headed on our vacation up to Mackinac Island starting the day after tomorrow. Even though the dog came in and smashed the peonies and even though yesterday I had some other struggles while I was at the easel, I approached it with a fresh start today and what a difference a day can make. The job is not to create great paintings. The job out here is to approach every day as a fresh start to do something special. I'm gonna put this painting away and I'm gonna move on to the next one. So thanks so much for being here. Uh, thanks to Corvin for always editing and always being flexible. All right, we'll see you soon. Why do birds suddenly appear Every time you are near